Picture this, you're in Bug World. There's an approaching slime you have never seen before. Yikes, it looks faster and stronger than the others. You have approximately five seconds to choose a tower to defend against this oncoming slime. Which one do you choose? Blue Blaster has unlimited range, Jalapeno Popper has more strength, and Rainbow Rush is the fastest. This slime is gaining quickly and there are more to follow. So you choose Rainbow Rush, the tower with the fastest speed. Quick and easy, right? But did you know that in those five seconds, you used the Tower class and the Rainbow Rush subclass to create an object that defeated the slime? Not sure what I'm talking about? Let's break this down from the beginning. In our last video on object-oriented programming, we answered the question, what is a class? If you need a reminder, a class is a definition or blueprint from which individual objects are created. Think about the blueprint for a car. There are properties that all cars have, like a body, wheels, and engine, and functions all cars can perform, like drive, brake, and turn. But the blueprint itself doesn't really do anything on its own. It just gives you instructions for how to make something. Take the blueprint and use it to build a car. Now you've created an object. You can use the same blueprint to create lots of objects. Each one will have the same properties and functions. In programming, it's actually pretty similar. When coding, you can create a new class and write out all your instructions for how to make it, just like in a blueprint. Then you can write a little bit of code that says, I want to use the class to make a brand new object. And bam, the object is created. So back to our car example. You can get into any car and expect it to have a body, wheels, and an engine. And now we know this is because all cars are built from the same class blueprint. But if they're made from the same blueprint, then why do so many cars look so different from each other? Of course, there isn't just one thing called a car. There are hundreds of makes and models in different colors and shapes. In programming, we can use subclasses to create similar, yet different classes that share characteristics. Even though they look different, both a Porsche and Mustang are still cars, so we would consider them subclasses of the car parent class. You know how creatures inherit certain characteristics from their parents? Subclasses inherit all the same properties and functions from the parent class, too. This means that if a car class blueprint has instructions for four wheels, the blueprint used to create a Porsche will also have four wheels. Same with the Mustang blueprint. All of this information gets passed along, or inherited, without you needing to repeat any code that's already in the car blueprint. This helps keep your code dry, which is especially helpful when you have lots of subclasses and you want to create multiple objects from each one. Remember our earlier example from Bug World? The car class we've been talking about works the same way as the tower class in Bug World. Similar to the car class, there isn't just one thing called a tower. Bug World has many different subclasses of tower. Objects created from each subclass look and behave differently and are responsible for different things. In the end, they all work together to defend against the slimes. Now it's your turn to jump into Bug World. Use the classes to create objects that work together to stop the slimes. Happy coding!